Good morning, Three Pound Nation. We are out here super early. Going to put some fish in the boat. Can't wait to do it. Look at look at this sunrise. Check, check. Come on now. I'm the only one out here right now. I love this about fishing. So let's put some slabs in the boat. We're going to be uh, probably sniping them first, and then we're going to go to fish that are in the dirt. That's the plan. So we'll see where we end up. But thanks for joining me. Let's do this. See those big marks right here? This is what we're gonna go for right here after right that. All right, well that's our first fish of the day. Oh my goodness. Nice little eater fish. Probably gonna change up to a blue monkey though. That's a solid fish though, good start. Right off that thermocline line, right above that pile structure. And that's how we're starting this party off. I'll do one more with this jig and then hair jig and then I'm gonna go probably to Blue Monkey. Nice little pile in the dirt. So we talked about. Nice little pile in the dirt. That's a good fish. Got a really playing. That's a great fish. All right, guys, good morning. That's a good fish. I'll tell you what, you've really had to play them compared to normal all right so we always let them go at three pound fishing no doubt about it but let me tell you what i'm using i go through it a little bit 30 second ounce black jig head three pound fishing everything's three pound fishing this is the uh the patriot right here kind of a red red white and blue sparkle i always use a number seven split shot love that it's probably not the best idea just it's just efficient so people that haven't seen three pound fishing that's what i use i've said i'm going to change it because it's so darn convenient what can i say uh sniping braid the small stuff i love optimal um it's four strands so it's a caster's dream extremely smooth and of course the, the new hammer 10 so can't go, can't go anywhere without it now when you are working with braid i always recommend in your boat these are like two dollars on the website guys i have about five or six pairs of these suckers in the boat sprinkled all over the place and amazingly i still lose them we've got a sunrise coming up and these fish are going to start going down into the mud as soon as the sun pops up so we're going to snipe a few a few more in fact i'm going to switch it up i'm going to go back to a hair jig i always load my boat up with i got four hammer tens here doesn't matter which one I grab. They're all the same. I love it. The idea that I, this just, just doesn't matter. They're, they all feel the exact same. Um, and I, it's just super sensitive, but we're going to go with a small, super small hair jig and see if that does the trick now as the sun pokes up. Mm -mm -mm, good eater. Long and skinny. Now what I'm doing is I'm casting to these guys right now, staying off of them. There's a ton of them in the dirt right here. Just a ton in the dirt. There I am coming in right here. So I get it down there. What I'm trying to do is try, just trying to get their attention for right now. Just trying to get someone's attention. If I see someone make a turn or aggressive move on it, so I know I have one coming from the bottom right now. Nope, he came off. He peeled off. This, there's one that's kind of an aggressive move. Well, that's basically what I'm doing. Every time I'm casting into them, I'm just looking to get someone's attention. And then from there, I play it. Now, aggressive fish during the fall, during the spring, you don't have to play them that much, right? They're just going to 
they're just going to take it. Um, but during these hot days of summer, you might have to do a little bit of extra. And we've talked about that in a lot of the episodes we've been doing. Oh, yeah, you take that hard. Good fish. All right. Probably matches our best for the day. For the morning. Mm, mm, mm. Right there, slabalicious. But hey, check out the new hair jigs. These are the new nasty jigs, super sticky. I brought it up in our last episode. Let me show you. So I brought it up in the last episode. These are available in four different colors. These are the new nasty jigs. They are super, super sticky. That's a black chromed J hook, roughly around a one odd style with the bait keeper on the back and they are hardened. They do not bend. These, these guys right here, Will flipping, get the biggest fish in, big hook. It's, they're really built for vertical jigging, being super aggressive uh, hook sets. Um, I wanted a bigger hook. I wanted to try the barrel style jig head. And you know, you just don't see, I don't know if, if there's any that have the bait hook, the bait keeper on the back side, which makes it awesome. So this really, Unless we're in the springtime, this is not a hook you're going to see on my home lake. But when I go do those Crappie Masters Elite Series, I'll be using these all day long. So, got them in the most popular colors and, um, and what I think is the best size. Anytime I go to those big lakes, I'm always using the 116, 100% of the time. So, well, we got them in 116 because I think they're a tournament style hook something that if you were doing vertical ping, you'd want it so we're gonna go back to the patriot although this guy is awesome the zombie we are gonna go back to a plastic and we're gonna start back with the patriot Mm -mm. That guy was supposed to be so much bigger. Fan of the the Ultrex and that new Ultrex that's coming out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be getting it, no doubt about it, 100%. As soon as that baby's available, which I hear is November, um, I'll be all about that. So you guys will be seeing reviews on that. Um, hopefully, I can get it really early. Is the goal, but we're just trying to bring these guys up. Paddle tail doesn't seem to be working today as well as I'd like to say so we might be going back to the hair jig i mean they're following it but they ain't closing the gap i don't know oh yeah the zombie worked that's a good fish look at that guy right there good night that was a good fish i couldn't set the hook because my reel got stuck not in the lock position I was a little lazy not doing anything about it but that's all right we're gonna release them anyway hopefully you guys saw that fish right there on the surface that was a good fish oh small guy What a fish and so much fun. I think the overall, the hair jigs, I think are working the best. Um, definitely a finicky summer bite right now. Definitely gonna have to reach out to some other lakes and bring you guys along. Um, hello, we're catching fish. This is a good fish right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Anyway, what a great morning. The sun's coming up. It's about 7, 15, 7, 20 or something like that. That's a slab right there. Um, big things coming up. we got the Crappie Masters Elite Series coming up. Truman Lake. Honestly, don't have that much experience there. 
Uh, so I look forward to learning that lake. And you know, the Crappie Masters Elite Series is the elite series, without a doubt, the best crappie uh, trail. And uh, we look forward to competing over there. We put 110%, that's what me and Mike always talk about. So watch us, you know, throughout the summer uh, for the next couple weeks, and then we'll, we'll be at Truman Lake, and that's where uh, the videos will go. So I look forward to getting on those different lakes and that type of thing. We'll also be fishing Wren Lake next week, so looking forward to sharing that with you. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Please subscribe and share the videos. That really does help out. And I uh, can't wait for fall fishing. So have a great one, guys.